Intervention creates a new path forward for the family. The family has been involved with addiction for a period of time, years, multiple, multiple years, decades. Intervention is stopping the way that it was and starting a new path forward. Intervention is a very fair uh, process. First off, in an intervention, we follow a very formal process. There's certain ways to recover. There's standard, standard and successful ways to recover. It's not a one-off event. Like we talked about before, we're gonna create a plan for 30, 60, 90 days, one year. Intervention also formalizes consequences. Prior to intervention, consequences were probably shouted out as ultimatums. If you drink again, I'm gonna leave you. That person doesn't leave, it's an empty, uh, empty threat. It's an empty ultimatum. We take ultimatums out and we formalize consequences for what would happen if the person continues to use. Intervention exposes secrets. Secrets is where addiction thrived. Uh, a friend knew a story, a girlfriend knew a story, the parents heard a different story. All these different people have heard different stories. The person with addiction is very good at that too. They're good at triangulating people off and telling different people different stories. In an intervention, we bring everybody together and we blow apart the secrets. Intervention is fair. Again, we're inviting the person of a concern into a plan for recovery. Intervention has witnesses. These people that have been told lies, these people that have been separated, are all going to witness inviting the person into the plan for recovery. Intervention has consensus. We're bringing the family together to decide on the plan, to decide on the course of action. So prior to that, the family might have been separated. We're bringing the family together to decide on what the, the path forward is going to be. Intervention establishes a board of directors. So in an intervention, we're gonna, cho we're gonna change who's managing addiction. Prior to intervention, the addiction is managing the family. The addiction is in charge. We change the manager. We're gonna take members of the family and start managing addiction with a board of directors. And I think very importantly, an intervention, that moment in time, doesn't allow us to go back to the way it was. We're creating a new path forward, a new plan for the uh, person of concern, and a new path for the family. We're not gonna allow, after intervention, we're never gonna allow the situation to go back to the way it was. We're going to have a new plan. We're gonna invite the person of concern to be a part of that plan. If they don't wanna be a part of that plan, there will be consequences. If they do wanna be a part of that plan, we're going to encourage them to, to recover over the long term.